You might be using internet to watch this video. What if I tell you your internet speed is going to be the fastest in the world? You'll never have to pay the electricity bills of your home again after paying them once. Now you might close this video as you are thinking all of this is a myth. But wait, this can be reality. True. Superconductivity. But what is superconductivity? Superconductivity is a phenomenon of existence of zero electrical resistance in certain materials called superconductor when they are cooled below characteristic critical temperature. Okay, let's make it easier. So inside the wire, there are electrons undergoing random motion which results in known as law of charge. But what if I supply voltage? The electrons are flowing in a particular direction. But are these electrons simply flowing? Well, not really, because these electrons are facing opposition by the positive metal ions, which results into resistance. Let's deal with an analogy. Suppose I were to move from point A to point B, and there were people in between. You can see I'll have to stop, I'll have to put in more time and energy to complete the distance. And what if? My path is clear. How can we make the path of electrons clear inside the wire? Thanks to scientists John Barton, Leon Cooper and John Schreifer, who brought BCS theory towards us. Now we all know like charges repel each other and unlike charges attract each other. Let's take it inside the wire. You can see an electron which attracts the positive charges, which results in increase in positive charge density in the vicinity of the electron. And this positive charge density attracts another electron, which results in formation of Cooper pairs. Electrons being fermion have half integer spin which combine to form Cooper pair which are full integer spin hence they are called as boson and therefore multiple Cooper pairs can exist in same quantum state. Hence electrons stay paired and where this is the case from oscillating atom which are small at very low temperature and thus the flow of electrons faces zero resistance. The energy of pairing interaction between electron and phonon is quite weak. So thermal energy can easily break the pairs. So we need low temperature for existence of Cooper pairs. Rather, for existence of superconductivity. If you remember at the very beginning of the video, I have said, you'll never have to pay the electricity bills of your home again after paying them once. How is this relevant? For this, we need to know Ohm's law, which is basically voltage is directly proportional to current, which gives us formula V is equals to IR. But for superconductors, R is zero. So V is equals to I zero and V is equals to zero. That is voltage is zero. So once the voltage is applied and there are superconducting wires in your home, the current would flow for years to years and your electricity bill would be zero. But at the end of the day, what restricts superconductivity from being part of our day-to-day -day lives is the low temperature in minus degree Celsius, where humans cannot survive. Now the scientists worldwide are trying to bring superconductivity at the room temperature. But the question is, can you make it happen?